I was laying on the hotel bed and the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, tonight, I'm going to loosen anointing. Lord, I can't get no help out of them. Let me talk to you. He said, tonight, I'm going to loose glory in your church. And I'm telling you, men of God, that the warfare you have seen after tonight, it's about to end. And I'm going to shout out about there. If I think come for nobody else, I come to strip in your spirit for the next season that God's about to bring you into. I need somebody to lift your hand. If you ain't gonna pray for what you came for, lift your hand. Open your mouth. Give him a praise. Praise him under your mask. Shout under your mask. Holler under your mask. Speak that tongues under your mask. But then the most sick head. God said, I'm a loosen and on it. Stay right there, Charles. He said, I'm a loosen and on it. He said, I'm a loosen and on it. I need a man to sister. Open your mouth and pray for glory. Open your mouth and pray glory. I said, open your mouth and pray glory. Every pastor in this house, every preacher of the gospel, every child of God. Come on, musicians. Come on, pray glory. Release glory in here. Of the prayer, give me a mixture and I'll give you a word. I need somebody that want a word. I need somebody that want a word. I need somebody that want a word. Is there a is there a word chaser here tonight? Is there a word chaser? Is there a word chaser who's on the telecast? Is there a word chaser in your living room? Get up off the couch, get out the bed, scream in your house. Who's watching around the world? Who's in the building? Lift your voice in this room. Hey, come on, the more cool shot of my Hey, grab your Bible. Be a Bible. What a motion. I feel the power. Charles, I feel the power of God. I'm not going to be long. I got an early flight. Get up, I'm going to Tomorrow night. I've been preaching since Friday night all over North Carolina. But I came by here. Who would have gone to strengthen this man of God? And I'm telling you, what God's about to do, he's gonna need strength. He cut down about something about that. And I came to tell some pastors in here that there's another level to your ministry. He cut down about those shot. He said that about cross shot down high. There's another level. There's another depth to your ministry. I'm not trying to open your mouth or I'm gonna sit down. I'm not the old time male. I need you to open your mouth. I don't want to waste my time. I prophesy to him. Loose a seed. Get in the car and go back to the hotel. If you ain't gonna praise him, I said open up your mouth. Give God a praise in here. Ain't no time to waste. People are dying every day. People are dying. Young as well as old. Come on and praise him. People are dying from cancer in their body. HIV. COVID-19. People having strokes. People having heart attacks. The devil ran their car off the road. But you're still here. You're still breathing. You're still alive. It's never praise here. Somebody scream. I need about a thousand screamers. Y'all not screaming. I need about a thousand of y'all. Open your back and holler. Get the man circle. Scream in your house. Get the man man know. Put the man down the back door. God, I feel the authority. Leave my head, come on, know. I feel the back door, sir. Boy, I feel some moving. Hey! Somebody body gonna get healed or not. I feel some breaking. Woman of God, I feel some shaking. He comes out of a cross saying, in the hour coming, where the proud man shall overtake the reaper. There's a devil trying to steal your stuff, but God's sending an anointing of invasion against the enemy. Lift your hands and say, Yes, Lord. Leader in this place. 
Some of my ministry friends that have been with me since I landed in the Carolinas, they've been with me every single day. And I want to thank God for some of them that are here tonight. Glory to God in Jesus' name. I do honor them. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. My North Carolina campus pastor, she came all the way from Wilmington. I thank God for Pastor Nicole DeBose on tonight. I thank God, amen, for everybody. Our, amen, Apostle Johnson, our Prophet Tim. Amen. I thank God for, amen, glory to God, my new friend. Amen. I appreciate his church. Glory to God on yesterday afternoon or on last night. Which one you may have it. Amen. Glory to God in the power of God moved in that place. There was a woman there who over to God who underwent strong deliverance on last night. Overseer, she's a woman that is being healed and delivered from being married to another woman. But the power of God hit her on last night. And she began to cough the devil up out of her mouth. I didn't come to play with nobody tonight. Glory to God. And I came to tell somebody if you want it, it's here. Glory to God, she called her pastor today. She told her pastor, she said, I feel different, I feel better. Glory to God, God healed her from the things of the grave. I can't get no help right there. I can't get no help right there. I can't get no help. Every city that I left, they've been inboxing me. Telling me since you left, there's been miracles. And I came to bring that same glory to Apex. That when I leave this place, when I leave evolution, there shall be a supernatural evolution. God, I can't get no, God, I can't get no man. Who's going to praise him or not? Look at your name and say, are you the praiser? Are you the praiser that produces glory? Tell somebody, I don't know about you, but tonight, anything can happen. If you believe in God, shut If you believe, be grateful tonight to every person that's in this room, my overseer. Glory to God. Haywood here tonight. Another one of my friends are here tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He lived in New York and now he's down in the Carolinas. Amen. He inboxed me. He said, I'm going to be there. Glory to God. Our brother Derek. He said, I'm going to be there. Glory to God. I thank God for my minstrels. They've been with me at every city. My prophet Charles. Amen. Glory to God. And my bro on the drums. Let's give God praise tonight. We come to strengthen the gates of this city we come to strengthen tonight thank you for the invitation if i don't get the opportunity to say it later amen because i'm moving expressly amen thank you for the opportunity thank you for the grace uh, glory to god to minister in your house i know what we have been through but i'm grateful that when people can't get over stuff leaders know how to get over stuff and may our example tonight be an example to every hater watching that knew they could have came but didn't come because I'm my name was on it. It's alright. It's a man support number whole. And every person that is here that look like they're supporting, but they're not. Glory to God. I thank God. May our our example be an example to them. Glory to God that it ain't that big. Lift your hand because this is a season of change. Hey, this ain't the season of enemies. This is the season of God. And you will find out this year who's really saved. Based off of what you can get over. Based off of what you can let go of. Will determine if you're really saved with the Holy Ghost or not. That can preach right there. And I'm grateful to God. Glory to God for unity in this place tonight. Somebody say yes, Lord. I come with a word for you tonight. I sought the Lord and he heard my cry. Uh, Nehemiah chapter number two tonight. Nehemiah chapter two tonight. 30 minutes. Put me on the clock, son. Um, Nehemiah chapter two tonight. Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 2 tonight, uh, overseer, may I have another microphone for my reader tonight? Um, Nehemiah, you have it, okay. 
Nehemiah. We're going to chapter 2 tonight. Be seated tonight. The Bible says that when Jesus taught, he said, sit, come close and listen. Look at somebody and say, God has something to say. Glory to God. Nehemiah chapter number 2 tonight. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 2 tonight. Tonight I come to release a word to the man of God. Amen. And to encourage all of God's people. Amen. Amen. Tonight is not a demon night. Amen. So I don't want you to be on God. I didn't come to touch you. Amen. Glory to God. I come to release this word. Somebody say amen. amen. Glory to God. Um, the Lord is moving strategically. And I want to say that this is a strong uh, prophetic hour. Okay. That we are living in. This is a very strong prophetic season uh, that we have embarked upon and God uh, is doing something different. It is not something that we have experienced before. Um, it is not uh, something that we have. Uh, uh, glory to God. Where, where is the broadcast that you shared in the church so they can tune into the word? Uh, uh, um, this is not something that uh, we have experienced before. Uh, this is not something that we uh, can say that we know what's coming next. Uh, but this is a season, uh, uh, beloved of God, where the only way uh, you're going to uh, have direction is through two ways. Uh, prayer, glory to God, uh, amen, or the mouth of a true prophet. The only way you're going to access, glory to God, the know-how on how to survive this season. Not, I'm not talking about uh, just staying alive, uh, glory to God, to fight a virus, uh, glory to God. But I'm talking about, uh, glory to God, our church survival and existence. Uh, many churches and many pastors are not going to survive uh, the season of pandemic. Uh, many pastors and many churches are not going to survive, not because uh, people have died. Men of God, and I enjoyed your ministry. I love a worshiper. Um, it is not because uh, uh, people have died uh, due to sickness and disease, uh, but people are not going to survive uh, this pandemic because the mind set of the people who we have led for years have changed. People are no longer impressed with your title. They can care less about your name and they don't care what accolades you have, where you've been and what you've done. Uh, people are no longer really serving God. A uh, majority of the kingdom and the world uh, is in survival mode. And so uh, uh, what they're doing is uh, they, they are doing what's best for them. Uh, they don't care nothing about tithes and offering. They don't care uh, nothing about a uh, 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 jump and a shout. Uh, they don't care nothing about how accurate you are uh, in the prophetic. Uh, they don't care nothing about your abilities of the spirit to uh, cast out devils or heal bodies and open up blind eyes. Uh, but, the, but, but people are in a place now, Charles, uh, where they are in survival mode. Uh, uh, if it does not fit or work for me, I don't care nothing about it. If it's not uh, paying my bills, if it ain't prospering me, if I don't feel, here's a big word, safe. Glory to God, I stay away. And so uh, there are many churches and there are many pastors um, that are getting ready to uh, really not survive because they don't have the coding, uh, glory to God, for the season. They don't have uh, uh, the strategy uh, that it takes for the season. They don't, they, 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 it's more than just taking your phone and going live on Facebook. It's more, can I preach this tonight? Uh, it's more, glory to God, than telling people, uh, uh, glory to God, send a seed to my cash app. Uh, this is a season now, glory to God, where people will sit on your live and never sow a seed. But glory to God, but you, as the man of God or the woman of God, if you're a woman pastor, Pastor or a male pastor, go to God. Uh, this is still your assignment to make sure that the house of God still stays open and still stays available for those that will dare. 
care enough in the midst of survival hour to come to church now 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 people say listen I can stay at home and get this I, you know I don't have to come I don't you know I can stay home I don't have to you know be in the, uh, uh, the service of the Lord but the reality of it is that if it was at your house we'll all be at your house Y'all quiet tonight. Glory to God. Uh, if it was at your house, glory to God, there would never be a need for God to have opened up the house of God. Uh, you can barely pay your bills at your house. Why? 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 Why are you at your house? There, that is a sign that that is struggle at your house. You can't pay your light bill. You can't. You, you, your rent overdue. You got. You ain't got enough money in your in your cabinet and in your refrigerator. Uh, glory to God. Uh, those are signs of poverty. Those are signs of struggle. Those are signs of you need a move of God. And so, glory to God. Why stay in your house when you can come to the house of God? For the Bible declares that in the presence of the Lord there is the what fullness of what of joy glory to God and so when I began to break down the understanding of joy I understand that joy is indicative of strength a lot of us are weak in this hour but if we can just get to the house of God I feel like I'm going to preach to somebody if we can just get to the house of God glory to God we can receive the fullness of God in the house of God this is the reason why when I come to church you're not not my friend in church because I'm not here going to go to have a conversation with you I'm here because I need joy because of the hell that I'm going through at my house when I come to church I need strength because of the weakness that I'm facing day to day look at somebody next to you for the first time tonight and say neighbor Glory to God, I come to the house of God because what I need is here. It's not at my house, and so I, I can't stay in my house. I can't. I know, I know, I know they said that COVID is outside, but I came to tell you COVID in your house too. Why, how do I know? Because people got sick. Glory to God, that never even came outside. How in the world your windows were closed, but yet you still popped up with COVID-19? Are you hearing me tonight? And so that means that if it is ordained for you to get it, you're going to get it. Now here it is. Watch this. Your fear should never be to get it. Your fear should be that if I get it and I die from it and I'm not ready to go to hell or heaven, I can't get no help. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so we got to now begin to prepare uh, the people of God on another level now. Uh, it is more it is more than a traditional church as usual. Uh, we're in a season now where we must uh, we must go before the Lord in prayer. Let the Lord give us the strategy and the know-how to reach the minds of God's people. Can I tell you even in this hour as much as we speak in tongues church is no longer as spiritual as it used to be. I'm almost finished. A church is no longer as spiritual as it was in the days of mama and grandma and them. Now church is more psychological. If I cannot get your mind I will lose your soul and when pastors began to understand that if you can get their mind glory to God you can keep your church and a lot of people are trying to move their feet but not trying to move their mind Apostle Melita I'm preaching I said uh, well, pastors are trying to move the feet of the people and trying to get them to clap and trying to get them to come out to their next service but the reality of it is I don't need to move your hands I don't need to move your mouth I need to move your mind the Bible declares that whose mind is stayed on me I'll keep you oh God I can't get no help right there number one he gonna keep you number 
two, you're going to be in peace. Did you hear what I just said? And so in this season, pastors, in this season, leaders, those that are in this building, those that are watching around the world, I come with the word of the Lord tonight to tell you that this is the hour to seek God for the blueprint of the mind. How do I dig the devil out of their mind? How do I get the enemy out of their mind? How do I get God to stay in the minds of his people? When the world is changing and, and the church is changing. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, I got to keep God in my mind. Uh, y'all not gonna talk here but I wish those that came with me would say something I said I'm gonna keep God in my mind so this is the season now where we must understand glory to God that this is the hour I got 19 minutes this is the hour where God is about to shift now the spirit of God's people that are sensitive lift your hands I feel the anointing that are sensitive enough to hear God hallelujah I said this is the hour now Charles where God is getting ready to invade the mind of every prophet and pastor the Bible said that when it was time for battle David calleth for the prophets of Issachar Understand in every other tribe there were thousands, but it was only the tribe, glory to God, it was only the tribe of Issachar that was the least among them in the hundreds. But the Bible said they were unified, they were the only tribe unified, and they were the only tribe that knew the time, the day season on which way we should go when warfare showed up I got a question tonight where are the real prophets that got a word from God to tell the church in this part of America called North Carolina where are the prophets that got the word of direction to save the church lift your hand open your mouth and shout I need a word from God you ain't talking shake the hell out of your neighbor and tell him say if you praise him now the hell will be over I need about 30 of y'all lift your voice open your mouth and shout hallelujah so we need a people I'm almost out of here I got 16 minutes we need a people now thank you Apostle Melina we need a people now that are sensitive enough Mother of Zion we need a people now that are sensitive enough to say come with me if I got to walk alone I'm with the old shukuta ishema Let me hurry up and preach this so I can prophesy. If I got to walk alone, if I got to defeat Shia, Mako, if I got to stand by myself, I'm going to stand because of the Minnesotan there, because my ear is glued to the mouth of God. I don't care about my friend. I don't care about who want to be popular. You want to know what the realization is? Everybody's popular right now because the ground, the level, the playing field has been leveled. Everybody got money right now. Everybody's somebody right now. Everybody got a business right now. Everybody got a hustle right now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Everybody got a ministry right now. Everybody going live right now. But with all of this that we're doing, my question tonight is who got the word of direction? All of this church, where 
where are we going? Come on, evolution. Where are we going? Where are we on our way to? Too many of us have died. People that we did not expect to die are out of here. Who got the mantle of those that left? Who got the mantle of the fathers of the faith? Where are we going? Y'all be seated tonight. And so I got a word tonight. 14 minutes and I'm finished. The Bible says this D. The Bible says that we're now in a place where we got to seek God. Somebody open your mouth and say seek God. We got to seek God like never before. We got to seek him while he may be found. I said we got to seek God. I said and don't stop until he answers. And so now in the midst of it, what does this have to do with the text? Because I believe in the Bible and I believe in teaching it and preaching all of it. What does this have to do with this scripture out of Nehemiah chapter number 2 verse number 18 not because of the leisure of time I got to read it for myself or rather I'm going to paraphrase it for you and as I paraphrase it to read it you're going to find everything I'm saying this is what the Bible said there was a man by the name of Nehemiah the Bible says he has been given the assignment listen to this Johnson he's been given the assignment to build God's house are you understanding what I'm saying in the midst of warfare he has been given the assignment to build God a house in the midst of warfare Overseer Johnson, you've been given the assignment to build God a house. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, I got an assignment to build God a house. You might not be the pastor, but if you work along with your leader, your leader needs your arms. Your leader needs your hands. Your leader needs your feet and your legs. Your back and your mind to help build the house of God. What are we going to do? Are we going to shout until the doors close? And then where are we supposed to go after that? Look at somebody and say, neighbor, shouting don't pay the bills. I can't get no help here. I can't get no help. I said shouting don't pay the bill. I'm sorry if we don't shout tonight. I said shouting don't pay the bill. I said shouting don't keep on the lights. I thought I'd say I said shouting don't pay the musician that play music for you to shout. I don't care how much you buck and shout. If they don't get their check when it's over, that's your last service of shouting. I can't get nobody right there. Lift your hands up because we are in an hour where people are not mindful that the church is in warfare. We're in a place now where people are not spiritual. They can care less about disease. They can care less about the warfare. They can care less about the witchcraft. They can care less about the COVID. They want their money. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ain't no money here. But they still want their money. Come on here somebody. Where are the people of God that are spiritual? That says listen. If for a season. Man of God. I got your back. Until God brings the church. Through this pandemic. I can't get nobody right there. Glory to God. I'm going to rock with you. And I'm not going to leave you. Because before the pandemic. You were good to me. Who am I talking to in here? Or do I have people. That still got to get paid to sing. You still got to get paid to preach. You still got to get paid to play the music. 
things is there anybody that's spiritual enough to know that there's a warfare happening but the house of God still must be built Nehemiah he's building the wall I'm ready now he's building the wall and the Bible says here comes the adversary here comes the warfare let's go Charles I got nine minutes here comes the adversary here comes the warfare and the Bible says and when Nehemiah is faced with the enemy he tells the enemy should I come down from the wall and the work cease overseer Johnson don't come down from the wall if you got to stand in here by yourself with your staff put the camera on get every good view you can get open up your mouth preach the word prophesy pray God's people out of the hell that they are in because there's somebody that's on the other side of the camera that got that check with evolution's name on it I came to tell you that it shall come together if you stay on the wall many pastors have fallen by the wayside but I came with the word of the Lord to tell you man of God that this is your season of the best hour of your life I came to tell you man of God that your body won't fail I was laying on the bed and God said when you get there rebuke the pain in his body rebuke what wants to come over his health I prophesy that your breathing won't be compromised I prophesy that your back won't go out your heart will never become congested I your pressure will remain regulated your sugar will be regulated your head won't have another mind great I prophesy you see your near my anointing I came to lose a near my two verse 18 mental on your life Nehemiah told the people, let's spill, strengthen your hands for this good work. And the Bible said that while Nehemiah was saying this, when he looked around, the Bible said that they were surrounded by fire. The walls, the Messiah, were on fire. The warfare came against the work, but I came to tell you, he didn't stop building. People may lie, but don't stop building. People may gossip, but don't stop building. Because there are some people that's going to actually make it out. There are some of us that's going to make it to the other side of this season. Everybody that started out ain't going to make it to the other side. But I came to tell you that in the pandemic, somebody cried unto the Lord and he heard your cry. You said, Lord, I want to change. Lord, I say yes. I'm sick and tired of playing church. God, I need your, your hand to touch my life. There's somebody in the midst 
of the fire you call on the name of Jesus and he answered Jeremiah chapter 33 let's rock verse number 3 I call on the name of the Lord and he answered and he showed me great and mighty things that I do not know and I came to tell you there's some great things that you ain't seen yet can I prophesy your eye have not seen your ear have not heard my God has it entered your heart what God has in store lift your hand open your mouth and say God I believe this is my season of the unbelievable. This is my Sokotaya. My time almost up. But I've come to say it again. This is my season of the unbelievable. I'm in hell, in hot water. But when you go through hell, you come out on fire. Lift your hair. Open your mouth. This is my season. This is my year. And I came on a Monday night to lose a miracle. The pepper my soul. 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 The God is going to do all things but fail. God is going to bring us to the other side of the chaos, the confusion. It's amazing. People are dying and people are still praying in the house of God. But as for me, we shall serve the Lord with gladness. Put away your sin. Serve Him. That's for me. Down to the last little child. Put away your sin. Tell the devil, go to hell. Tell the adversary, it's not gonna work because the hand of God. It's all my life. Lift your hand. Open your mouth. Prophesy. I'm in my season of building. Somebody else might fail, but I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land. Of the liver, tell somebody God's able to do exceeding above it, above all you may ask. Of faith, lift your head, open your mouth, and tell the devil I refuse to go out. Like this, God got a plan to prosper this house. God got a plan to prosper this pastor. And if you in here, that same anointing is on your life. Lift your hands up, finish. We're in a season for the double corner of we're in a season of instruction. We're in a season now where we got to be sensitive to the move of God. Overseer, everybody's not sensitive. Apostle, everybody is not in the spirit of God. Bishop, everybody 
Bishop Johnson, they don't care. But I came to tell those that are still holding on. There's another season coming for us. I didn't come to shout you tonight. I come to strengthen you. There's still another season for you. And I'm telling every devil in hell, every devil that walks the earth, every devil in the realm of the spirit as well as the natural, that God has not taken his hand off of you. I'm telling you that God, do I have any body that will open your mouth and praise God loud? Hey! Do me a favor, look down your row and say, why your mouth ain't open? Can you praise God for the pastor? If you're going to come to his church, at least you can praise God for them. May every meal be paid. First at your personal house. Then at God's house. May you and your wife see better days. May y'all see good days. May y'all have good health. Platform that have launched many people in this city and abroad. May your platform launch you. I can't get nobody to open your mouth, lift your hand, throw your head back, and scream. Ow! 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 This is the Lord's doing. Come on, do shit and buy. They tried to shut you down. They tried to do you in. They were with you when everything was up. And when it got chaotic, they left you where you were. But God said, I never took my hand off of you.
This is what it says. He said that I'm going to, I'm going to do it for you. Hear me overseer. He said he's going to do it for you. I was praying for you. I was laying on the bed. I was praying for you. I said, God, I said, when I get there, I don't want it to be the same old. I want a word for him. And God told me, he said, tell you, it ain't nothing deep, nothing prolific. He said, tell you these simple words. Tell my son it's going to be all right. I'm telling you, make it, I, more grace, more grace. More, I got one, more grace. I got one that's connected. Two or three are gathered. Where any two touching in agree, I got one. She's back there going up for you. May every bill be paid. May every need be met. May you never hit the red zone. And I want to prophesy, may you never have to come out of your pocket. I want God to send you investors. Habakkuk chapter 2 said, write the vision, make it plain. So that he that read it can run with it. That means that sponsors and investors are coming to look at your plan. May you have something to show them. So that you can be in what you need and deserve to be in. Because you're going to build God a major production. Network is coming for you. You mark my words. Network as I stood on television. So shall you stand. I prophesy. That your feet. Will land. In another posture. I'm flowing Charles. I prophesy. That your feet will land in different cities. You have been asking God about even your travel ministry, your evangelism, being able to go into other cities that you've never been into, you've never preached in. The Lord began to deal with me, and I don't bring everybody to my church. But the Lord said, Make room and allow you to stand in the city of New York. He said, because it is going to be the start of many open doors for you. You have served. You have built others openly as well as privately. This is the landing of the Lord in this season. His hand is at the top of your head. There is a level of strength that is coming upon you. I pray that you will not fail at nothing. I, I pray, Father, that, the, that his hand will sign contracts to businesses and even to property.